so welcome back to my channel so today's video is on this makeup look I did for you guys and I think I'm calling it like a Thanksgiving day glam look but before I get started I just wanted to apologize to you guys for being like MIA for the last two to three weeks um it got really hectic for me I'm not gonna lie I felt like I was being pulled in so many different directions and um, a lot of you guys don't know but I do have a full-time job so it wasn't like my job that was pulling me in one direction it was like YouTube world and like social media so I had to take a couple of weeks just to kind of get a breather and just kind of like woo saw it out because I felt like I was overwhelmed and I know in today's day and age, like, you know, with social media, it can get a little overwhelming. I mean, as far as like even Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, it's like I feel like my life sometimes is not mine. So I just had to take a couple of weeks and just kind of um, fall back a little bit and do me, take the time with my family and kind of just leave YouTube, um, this YouTube world alone for a little bit. I know that my full-time job is really important, but YouTube is so important to me. I had to really kind of reevaluate myself as well because I started feeling like, why am I doing this? Why am I doing YouTube? Um, what am I doing this for? And I've just come to the conclusion that no matter where my channel goes, if my channel, um, hits thousands and thousands of subscribers that's great and if it doesn't it's still great I had to come into terms with that it came to me that I'm doing this because I love this I love makeup um, I'll throw in an occasional like DIY because I do love doing the those fun videos as well but like my passion my soul everything is makeup so um, yes yeah, so I wanted to come back with you guys uh, to a makeup video and which is what I love to do and um, yeah so that's really giving you guys kind of the explanation on what was going on in my head and things like that I'm pretty sure this is like maybe a little confusing to you guys but um, like I said when you work a full-time job you're doing YouTube full-time and you have a family it's really hard um, to balance it out and I think that was what my problem was I was finding it very very difficult to balance out as I go along, this is a learning process for me and I did get a little overwhelmed, like I said, um, for a couple of weeks. And But now I'm back and I am so happy that I did this look for you guys because I use my Mario Master Palette by Anastasia. It's been one of my favorites for a couple of weeks now and I tend to grab it most of the time. I wanted to do a really nice look for you guys for Thanksgiving. I felt like I haven't gotten like dressed up and got glam for a while and that's what I wanted to do. And then I threw on this dark lip as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you will be seeing a lot more from me. I do apologize, like I said, for being MIA for the last two to three weeks. So with that being said, guys, I just want to tell you guys how much I love you, how much I missed you guys. And if you guys want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one. Coming home on the highway Maybe things have been sideways And I want you back in my system Okay guys, first things first, we're going to prime our eyes with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. You guys know I use this all the time. This is one of my favorites. Going in with the Master Palette by Mario, I'm taking the color Isabel and I am taking this MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to buff that all into the crease. I'm not really being precise with this because I want it to be, as you guys can see right here, I wanted to bring it in the corners, the inner corners as well because I wanted to smoke out the inner and the outer corner. So then going in with the color NYC from the palette and I'm taking a 239 brush from Mac and I'm just gonna place this right on my lid going in with the color Violetta from the palette and this elf blending brush I'm just gonna go in and concentrate this on that crease so now just cleaning up the outer corner just a bit and then going in with this Tarte Sketch Liner in black. I'm just going to wing out my liner. I cannot find the NYC Liquid Liner for the life of me in anywhere, any store. So if you guys know where I can find that, please let me know down below. Now going in with Benefits Roller Lash um, Mascara, I'm just going to prep my lashes for the falsies. And then I'm taking Huda Beauty's lashes in 
these are in Sophia and I'm just gonna place those right on my lid and I'm using this new um, lash glue I got from House of Lashes as well so now going in with my Becca backlight primer I'm just gonna put this all over my skin and I really love using this Tarte Timeless Poreless Primer as well because it just fills in all the pores really nicely. I feel like it keeps me matte. Now taking my Tarte Amazonian foundation and then this Clinique Stay Matte foundation. I've been mixing them a lot for the past couple of days. And both of them together are like, I don't know, it's like crazy because they keep me matte all day I don't get oily at all um, I am an oily mess by probably like the fifth or the sixth hour of work so basically I have been using these together and they've been like a godsend because um, both of them together is like perfect now just taking this Becca under eye brightening corrector I'm just gonna put that right underneath my eyes and then I'm taking my Tarte shape tape I just got this but I am loving it it is probably one of my favorite concealers at the moment then going in with my Real Tape, Real Technique sponge, I'm just going to make sure I blend that all in. And then also I'm going to take right here is my Clinique powder. Oh, I've been using this over the Laura Mercier powder, guys. This is the bomb. You guys have to go try this in Clinique. I will tell you it's neutral transparent. That's the color because they have quite a few colors. Um, they have like the shades of your skin, but this is the one that I really like. Now going in with my Hoola Bronzer. And this e.l.f. blending brush, I'm just going to contour my face. I haven't picked up this brush in quite a while. I've had it for a long time, but um, yeah, this is the first day I'm actually using it in a couple of months. And I don't know why I don't use it more often because it's like perfect for contouring. So now just going down the bridge of my nose as well. And now taking this L'Oreal bronzer, this is their Pro Glam bronzer. It's huge as you guys saw, but I ever since I picked this up, I've been loving it. I just love that it just looks so nice on the skin. Skin and it bronzes everything up and it's not too orange it's really beautiful and it's so big that it's gonna last me for a while so just dusting off that powder with my Sigma F25 brush and then going in with my blush. This is a blush from NARS called Al Almera. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I will list it down below. And now taking the palette again, I'm going in with Violetta and just smoking out that bottom lash and then bringing it down a little bit more with the color Isabel. So then going in with Max Extended Play Mascara, just hitting the bottom lashes. And then I'm taking this L'Oreal Smoldering Pencil in brown. And I'm putting this on my waterline, but I'm also just going to smoke it down just a little bit. So then now taking my uh, lip pencil from MAC, and this one is in Night Moth. I'm just going to line my lips. And then I'm just going in with this Retro Matte Lip Color High Drama from MAC. These came out last year, but I love them. Their staying power is incredible. So now I'm just going to take my MAC Highlighter in Old Darling. I know this is limited edition, guys, but it's so bomb. I love it. I'm going to die when I hit pan. But just taking that and putting that right on the tip of my nose. And then the high points on my cheeks just for that perfect highlight. And we are all done, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I missed you guys so much. I can't wait to do more videos for you guys i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one bye guys because i would do anything for you